Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Make Love Via Self Learning Tutorials. Well guys, in today's tutorial, we will learn basically how you can basically have different views across your same working model, right? So basically, <coughs> sometimes you must be wondering, wondering that you might want to like work on the same model but in different views without the need to reopen the model same again in separate window or a separate instance of FreeCAD. So this is the same instance. The below these views which you can see, these are the same instance only. These are not these are not independent um, FreeCAD files or models, right? So two aspects we will learn how to have these views and how you can basically create these views also, right, guys? So as you can see here, I've created these views with me, right? So let us just quickly switch to our uh, first window basically and let's just, just see how this thing basically is done. So what we'll do is let's open this model again, right? Let me reopen the file. We'll go through scratch basically. so that we can easily learn like how these fundamentals like everything is basically being driven right uh, so guys you can see uh, this is the model that we have currently now the first thing is uh, if you remember in the BIM workbench under manage we have this option called views manager right so this is quite underutilized functionality of FreeCAD but this is something very helpful so I'll just tell you how you can use this views workbench uh, views manager or you can use a tree view also to manage your views quickly right so views are basically aligned with your building object levels or working plane so the best method which we usually I have observed is a working plane just for quick observation so let's say uh, this is a view let's say we're switching to perspective also right this is a view which we like to save right and which we want to re-refer uh, after a certain point of time we are into, into the modeling or maybe at a later stage so what you can do is under utilities you see this option called create working plane proxy either you can do it from here or when you have this BIM views opened which I just showed you here which is the views manager you can right click on this space and just say add proxy right so let's say we're adding a proxy right so this proxy let's say we give it a name from the label let's say this is isometric view right so now <coughs> the camera position is automatically saved in this view as soon as it was basically created uh, with this camera position in mind so let's say I try to switch it like this right now if I want to go back to my original view which I have saved so simply click on this isometric view uh, double click on this basically so you see your view has been restored one thing you need to make sure is under this isometric view in the view properties make sure uh, this restore view option is set to true right if it is false then on double clicking on this view you want <coughs> restore your original view which was saved right so that's how it is so these all this view data information is saved here we need not to play with this it is something saved here right if in case let's say you need to update your view position so let's say this is original view position even the zoom in zoom out options so let's say we want to make, make it something like this right so simply right click on it again just simply say right camera position or you can do it from views manager also select your view uh, which I just created the proxy right click on this and simply say save view position so this new data will be saved in this proxy so now let's just say we double click on this again you got your view back right guys so now similarly we will create proxies for other views also let's say I switch to orthographic and this is the front view now let's say we want to add this camera position we want to save this view 
cool so what we'll do is we will create the proxy again right click here say add proxy okay let's say we rename this uh, to let's say front view cool this is renamed now let's say we try to switch the camera position and double click on this front view you have your view restored now let's just quickly create another view for uh, the plan view basically the top view so right click here say add proxy it just takes one two second because this basically saves the camera position also let's just rename this to top view so this is also saved let's just take one last view which is the right view okay you can take any view as you want with any sort of names that you require right uh, let's just create another proxy add proxy right let's just give this name of right view so now all the views that we require for this exercise are with us one simple thing that you can do is uh, you can create a new group uh, let's say click on this project right click on this we say create group just so that your views are easily managed by you for your future reference and the tree view is not basically uh, disturbed or more chaotic in nature so let's say this is views right now select all these views which have created the proxy planes and drag them into the views folder cool so all those views are created now now the thing is basically we wanted to have these views in different windows right guys so for that what you can do is uh, you can see uh, below we have this object uh, model open and this is a single view so go to view option and here you have this option called create new view simply click on it a new view is created and for this you can set your settings let's say you want to switch off the grid let's say we create another new view third one let's create a new one which is four so now we total four views right so select any one of the view which you want at the first then go to windows option here and simply say tile right it will automatically adjust your views like this so now what you can do is you can go on each of the views make it active by simply clicking anywhere on the view and then choose the desired view that you want to see here let's say I want to see the front view in this you have the front view here right similarly let's say in this view we want a top view right so you have this uh, activated and let's say similarly in the remaining one we want the right view click on this make this make this view active and then double click on this proxy plane so that's how you have the right view also activated so this basically provides you a kind of good visualization uh, for your different working planes how your model is actually looking right and it's good for presentation also right and this was it basically in this tutorial uh, this is how we have seen how you can manage your, manage your views also right guys uh, quick and easy and in a very tidy way neatly right so this was it let me know with your comments how you like it right feel free to comment uh, share this video with your friends and subscribe the channel right guys it gives a lot of motivation and if in case you see uh, my videos are, videos are helpful feel free to buy me a coffee I have that link in the description below right so see you guys in the next video let me know with more suggestions uh, what kind of video you'd like to see in free care right till then uh, take care uh, goodbye right thank you